Hello Doctor Who friends, welcome back to some more Doctor Who. This one is called The Crimson Horror, and I will be recording a few more episodes today as well because I'm going away again. So I'm hopefully going to have a bunch uh, recorded for the weeks and stuff a little bit more, hopefully, while I'm gone. So wish me luck in that, and uh, let's get into The Crimson Horror. If I have not returned in an hour, you must fetch the police. The police? <sighs> what are you doing? Where are you going? You must get to the bottom of this dark and queer business, no matter what the cost. Did he just say dark and queer business? Mrs. Gillyflower. Gillyflower. Your husband, my dear. It's a Interesting name. My husband. Your late husband. He, my he... My husband is quite well. He just left. <laughs> Did he? Oh. Well, not anymore. We're so very sorry. How do these people know? Oh, well, holy shit. Right me, <laughs> Another one. Another. Why are you laughing about it? Crimson horror. That's what they're calling it. This looks really horrible. No Disgusting. In hey, hey. Payment in advance, Flower. Flower? Is he Mr. Gillyflower? I have my vitals for fiddle strings. If they knew, I'd let you come to look at one of their precious stiffs. This stiff is my brother. I mean, yeah. Come on. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. Told you the investigator to see if there are strange goings on. Oh, hello. Interesting. Oh, we come back here. Oh, I like it. I like man. seeing the doctor's friends. He and a young woman were working undercover. Vastra. Do you know it. what an optogram is? <laughs> Huh? It's a silly superstition, sir. The belief that the eye can retain an image of the last thing it sees. I've never heard of such a thing. Is that is that a realistic thing? Oh God! Oh, he hasn't seen her. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> poor guy. Not be blowed. No, Madam, please don't. That we'd better make plans to head north. The doctor. So why so why was the doctor's uh, image last thing he saw? She is only Probably trying to save him. The fittest and the most beautiful. You may rely on me, ma'am. I like that we get to oh, see the psychotic potato, potato dwarf again. Potato. Jenny. If this weak and fleshy boy oh. is to represent us, oh. I strongly advise the issuing of scissor grenades, limbo vapor, <sighs> and triple blast brain splitters. Again, this what guy. For? Just Edwin. Remember, we are going to the north. To the north. Yes, yeah, so and where's the north? The north is apparently something very terrible for this guy. All a swarm with the wretched ruined humanity. Men and women shed by the Duggenoff. Huh? Moral droid lie, no. Okay. Blind by my lips. <gasps> oh, oh, no. oh, oh. Why are you showing her off like she's a circus attraction? It's your story. Wanting come upon us all. Preserved come lips out. No, of course there you do. Oh, well, Mrs. Cult Leader. Wow, everyone's amazed by this. It's just an image of a city. Or, well, not even a city, it's an Im image of a single building. You wish to join us, my dear? If it's all the same with you, ma'am. Oh, yes, dear. You'll do very nicely. If our stratagem succeeds, Jenny will infiltrate deep into the black heart of this curious place. Oh, poor Jenny. Behind him, she needs only ignore all peep out signs, go through every locked door, and run towards any form of danger that presents itself. Well, that sounds... Business as usual, then. Business as usual. <laughs> Very great for Jenny. <laughs> ah, how awful. You think I'd forgotten you, dear monster? Okay. Why are you taunting the thing and then you freak out when it bangs on the door? Dumb. I've traveled from London expressly to see Madame Vastra. Yeah. You'd be so kind as to announce me, my good man. Who shall I say is calling? Huh. Hi. I mean, bye. Get knocked out again. It asked for permission to enter. And it fell over. It. <laughs> it asked for permission to enter, and then it fell over. <laughs> Can't even say he. You call everything a boy because you can only count to one gender. <laughs> and then this one's just an it. <laughs> okay. What are we to make of it? 
Jesus. I imagine Mr. Thursday wants to know what program. Oh, Mr. Thursday. Made. Okay. How did the doctor's image come to be preserved on a dead man's eye? It's a scientific impossibility. What have Jenny is going to If she hasn't made contact by nightfall, I suggest a massive frontal assault on the factory, madam. Of course you do. With you monkey grenade things and stuff? 80 Laser oh, monkeys? There may be subtler ways of proceeding, Strax. Suit yourself. <laughs> I like how he just fans him <laughs> with this stupid little fan fight. <laughs> Let me give Mr. Fanny this loser. <laughs> Only the best for Sweetville. I hope my teeth don't let me down. I'm Abigail. Please see me. I had a pal who come here three months back. She wrote to tell me how perfect it all were. I've not had a peep from her since. So she's Please. probably dead. Congratulations. Uh. What are you doing? Do me a favor. Cause a distraction. Swoon. Have a funny turn. Feel the vapors. Are you crackers? Go on. Is it guinea in it for you? Okay. Done. Nice. <laughs> and no one else could hear the conversation or anything that was going on. All right. They just have sounds of machinery playing. Not even actual machinery. What? What the tits? What is that? Is that is that virgin blood? <laughs> Disguised as wine. Factories can do horrible things to a person. I've pickled things in here. Fair turn your hair snowy as top of Buckton Pike. Crimson horror. Hardly seems possible. Hey. I think. I think I have seen these symptoms before. A long time ago. Oh, I how long? Four thousand years. Okay, a, a, a lot more. I trust you had a pleasant day, Mama. Tolerable. Just tolerable. Okay. Will Mr. Sweet ever join us for dinner, Mama? Mr. Sweet is rather tired tonight, I fear. Oh. Oh dear me! Oh, how clumsy I'm getting. <laughs> Keep the devil at bay. <laughs> what? She just put salt down her um, collar, but why? I don't. I don't. This is a very like superstition uh, filled. More fake machinery. Careful. Uh oh. Yuck! All right, mate. You just stay calm now. Yeah, calm, huh? I could open this door. Would you like that? I thought you might. Got to come to an arrangement. Savvy? <laughs> Sound well back. Do you hear me? I don't mean no harm to you, but you try anything funny, and I'll leave you here to rot. Understood? Okay. Doctor. What? The hell? We're getting out of here. What the hell happened to him? Well, it's a good thing that lady is blind, although I'm very certain she could probably hear them. What the dick fuck are they doing? You are all I have, monster. But all will be well, imperfect as we are. There will be room for us in the new Jerusalem. Uh oh. They should have locked the door. What the fuck? Going there. Giving himself a sonic bath? A sonic shower? This is our cleansing something or other. Well, all right, I don't know how. I'd like to have an explanation, but okay. Never turn up. Jenny. Oh, 
Uh, Ruth? Right. Mrs. Gillifly, we've got to stop her, and then there's Clara. Poor Clara, where's Clara? Clara? Where is Clara? Doctor Wayne! Can't, Clara, I've got to find. What happened to you? How long have you been like that? Days, weeks, then I. Long story. Okay. I'll keep it short. Will you? I don't think he will keep it short. He's not okay, very good at doing so that. Not London, 1893. Well then. 1893. Near enough. You're making a habit of this, getting us lost. It's what was the Lancashire and Sass for the last time? <laughs> We all listen. And no one who ever goes to live there ever seems to come out. Mm. They keep turning up in Canal, the Crimson Aura. Ooh, good name. That's no, good. it's really not. You shouldn't, you shouldn't call it that. It's good for the news, and that's about it. That the eye of a dead person retains an image of the last thing it sees. Oh, haha. Ha. Okay. The chemical composition of the body has been massively corrupted. Okay. Nasty and organic poison. Oh, yes. Smashing. This is an alcohol. I don't think Clara's very pleased to be there. You won't have to worry about a thing ever again. Why not name it after yourself? After all, it's your creation. Gilly Flower Town, eh? Gilly Flower Land, you can have roller coasters. It is named in tribute to my partner. Your late partner. No. My silent partner. Mr. Sweet likes to keep himself to himself. Shall we move on? Okay. Interesting. Oh, names don't matter here. All you need to know is we only recruit the brightest and the best. Names don't matter here. Okay. Well, that's extremely sus. Is such a clever old thing. Oh! Into the canal with the rejects, Ada. Hmm. Sometimes the preservation process goes wrong. Only Mr. Sweet knows why. And only Mama is allowed to talk to Mr. Sweet. But if you're very good and stay here, you'll be my secret. Oh. My special monster. That's horrible. That's disgusting. <laughs> What the fuck? Ah! Looking for us and then falling into a vat of the pure venom. Or was pushed. And Mrs. Gillifly has been dipping her pilgrims in a dilute form to protect them, preserve them. The process didn't work on me, maybe because I'm not human. I ended up on the reject. Could be. I... That's very that messed up, though. Something apocalypse. And judgment rains down upon us all. What? Something Mrs. Gillifly said one of her sermons. Clara, I've got to find Clara. But, Doctor! Clara's dead, isn't she? It's complicated. Horse, you have failed in your mission! <laughs> we are lost. Poor horse. Do you have any final words before your summary execution? The this poor horse. Oh my god! Sweet ball, sir. What? Do you know it? Turn around when possible. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. What? Bear left for a quarter of a mile until I've reached your destination. Okay. Well, all right then. Thank you. What is your name? Thomas Thomas. I think you all right. do well, Thomas Thomas. That poor child, her? poor horse too. Doctor! Must be here somewhere. Well, of course she survived the process, duh. Doctor! Yeah, you, you never explained to them. We have a souffle girl again! Oh. Okay. Slightly aggressive. I like how you're just crying there instead of like looking for the monster. Mama, I have been foolish. I've formed a sentimental attachment. To whom? A young man. Unlike the others, he survived rejection. He must be strong, worthy of salvation. All right. Berserker! You have loosed a reject onto the outside world. My plans must be accelerated. Nothing oh. must interfere with the great work. Oh. Please say there is well. still room for me in your new Eden, Mama. Promise me that. I'll set my pilgrims onto him. No! Kindly, Awful. do not claw and slobber at my crinoline. Crinolinus? To look at sick people. Promise me you will not abandon me, Mama. There can be no place for people such as you. I she clearly hates her own daughter. Good enough for myself and Mr. Sweet. <laughs> you are for the dark. <laughs> That's terrible. What the fuck? Can she be revived like you are? I hope so. Oh, great. Attack of the supermodels. Attack of the supermodels. Oh, God. They all just have clubs and shit. This one's 
hands on the Oh shit. Okay. Nice. Fuck him up, Jenny. Holy shit. Okay, cool. I like this. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, you got three of them. Okay, nice. Here comes the frontal assault. I, I like the full frontal assault and the sword. She, she almost never even uses her sword. She, she pulls it out so many times, and I think she hit someone once, but like she never actually really uses the sword. Long story. We could lay my magic cluster bite. Strax. Or oh, take trenches and fill them with acid. Strax. Yes. You're overexcited. Have you been eating this jelly sherbet fancies again? Probably. No. Go outside and wait for me until I call for you. But madam, go. He is like a child. <laughs> I'm gonna go play with my grenades. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who you think she is, but she isn't. She can't be. I was right then. You and Clara have unfinished business. Mm -hmm. Doctor. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh. What's going on? Don't worry about it. <laughs> She's a lizard. <laughs> Just as humanity fights a daily battle against nature, so did we. And our greatest plague, the most virulent enemy, was the repulsive red leech. Ooh, the repulsive red leech. On balance, I think I prefer the crimson horror. What Tiny parasite. It infected our drinking water, and once in our systems, it secreted a fatal poison. Oh. Maybe it's evolved. Yeah, it's possible. Well, watch it be large chimney. now, yeah, 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 yeah. big. Way past that now, yucky red parasite. Yeah, but the chimney... Yeah, but what's the connection to Mrs. Gillaflow? Judgment will rain down on us all. A chimney that doesn't blow smoke. Clever clogs. Miss me? Yeah, yours. It's going to poison the air. Mm. Wow. With that. Clearly. Yeah. I've got a plan. Uh, go in there and blast everything to crap. Okay. Where's Strax when you need him? His grenades would actually help here. Why? Is this necessary? Oh, this is how it's controlled. Okay. Interesting. Hidden uh, secret passages via an organ. Who is that? Who is that? Your monster. My monster. You've come back. But you're born. And alive, thanks to you, Ada, you saved me from your mother's human rubbish tip. She does not want me, monster. I'm not to be chosen. Perhaps it was my own sin that no. my father saw in me. Ada, no. It is That's her mother's evilness. Stupid, backwards nonsense. I know it. What is it? Who is that? I'm a friend. Then you are fortunate indeed. Who is Mr. Sweet? Ada. Dear monster, even now I cannot, I cannot. Hmm. Well, there's something you need to know. Well, this might be uh, pretty awful for her. Oh, can I offer you something? Tea, seed cake. Seed cake? What the hell is a seed cake? No, thanks. We've had a skinful already, as you might say. <laughs> Very funny. Mm, yes, I'm the doctor. You're nuts, and I'm going to stop you. I'm afraid, Mr. Sweet, and I cannot allow that. Ah, yes. What well, you, you can't, but uh, he doesn't really care. Find your workforce with diluted prehistoric leech venom. So when do we get to meet him? This silent partner of yours, why is he so shy? Mr. Sweet is always with us. You do seem to have a very close relationship, you and your pal. Symbiotic, you might say. Ah, that's why. The salt. Okay. Wrong fat on the filth. Humanity is pumped into the rivers. His needs are simple. And in return, he gives me his nectar. Mrs. Gillard. Ew. In the wrong hands, that venom could wipe out all life on this planet. Do you know what these are? <laughs> the wrong hands. Oh, uh, okay, I get it. What a psycho. <laughs> that kid's just waiting there with him too. Planning a little fireworks party, are we? You have forced me to advance the great work somewhat, Doctor. My rocket will explode high in the atmosphere, raining down Mr. Sweet Beneficence onto all humanity. I'm wiping us all out. You can't! My new Adam and Eve's will sleep, but for a few... Ew. Dawn, is it not beautiful, Doctor? That's pretty gross. Something's wrong with you. Something's now, very wrong with you. Tell us about... Ada. The child is of no consequence. Is that why you experimented on her? The pattern of scarring. You used her as a guinea pig, didn't you? God. Sometimes wow. sacrifices must be made. She I can't believe she used her own daughter for that. It's 
necessary. I had to find out how much of the venom would produce an antitoxin to immunize myself, don't you see? It was necessary. Mama, is it true? Ada. It is. It's oh. true. Listen to me. You had. Oh. You had. Holy you shit. Ada's pissed. <laughs> Yes, beat the shit. <laughs> Actually, no, don't stop. I like this. K keep going. Or come on. Yeah. Okay, well that works. Blow up the machine. Okay, now, now continue letting Ada beat beat her mother to crap. I'm afraid your rocket isn't going anywhere. Elder abuse is, is totally allowed in this particular specific and only context, right now. Uh huh. Jetpack? Does he have a jetpack? Come to me, Ed. No, sma smack her brains out. <laughs> oh, my child. Smack her some more. Oh, oh, She's gonna kill her. Useful. We must be going long past Ada's bedtime. Is that a euphemism for killing her? Follow straight after us, she'll shoot Ada on the spot. She wouldn't. She would. Out the window, I guess. Okay. Has the venom been loaded? This old hag raggedy bitch is somehow very strong. Secondary firing mechanism, Doctor. Mr. Sweet and I were too smart for you after all. Just let your daughter go. Shoot if you wish, Mama. It is a no matter for you kill me a long time ago. Ah. Holy shit. I hope the rocket blows up in their face. Uh, Strax is gonna get up there and stop it somehow, though. He was already kind of on his way. Well, watch him just like hit hitching a ride on the bottom or back side of it or something. I don't think so, Mrs. Gilliflower. Haha! Oh. Very well, then. They just saw the poison. The world with me. You will have to do. Die. Oh, really? You freaks. You're the freak. Put down your weapon, human female. <laughs> Blaster. I, that was very mean of me, but. Oh, well. Ouch. You know, I know I wanted it, but uh, I'm not sure if I actually feel that great about it. No. How, no. how, how, how did you live? Mr. Sweet, oh, where are you going? You can't leave me now. What's it doing? Well, I know she's dying. She's no longer of any use to it. Uh, oh. Ed, Ed, are you there? I'm here. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, my child. Forgive me. Never. Yep, I figured. Why? Go. Do with that thing. Take it back to the Jurassic era, maybe. Out of harm's way. Or, you know, just kill it. It's a parasite. Ah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand. <laughs> right, right, London. We were heading for London, weren't we? Was there any particular reason? No. I don't know why he wanted to mention no, that live. Oh god. Maybe had enough of Victoria. I had a feeling Ada was gonna do it. I, I wasn't no. sure if she was gonna she was no. gonna kill that thing or kill her own mother. I'm surprised her mother even lived long enough after that fall. Ada, I'd love to stay and help clear up the mess, but I know, dear monster, you have things to do. And what about you? It's time I stepped out of the darkness and into the light. Good luck, Ada. You will be just splendid. It makes me well, think Ada Lovelace. Thanks a million, you three. As ever, have some Pontefract cakes on me. I love what are those? See you around, eh? I shouldn't wonder. That girl, Clara, you haven't explained. All right. You should explain. No. I haven't. Bye. Look at the muck in here. Right. Another one for the vault. Another one for the vault. There you are. I called to see if there had been any progress. And he's gonna faint again. 
Okay, this poor man. He's seen so many things he just keeps fainting. I feel really bad for him, actually. Okay, what, what susness is going on here? Oh, photos. It's you, isn't it? It's from the 70s, but it's definitely you. Of course it's not. Interesting. And that's you too. 1983. I found it at school. How did they find these? That's just someone who looks like me. That's someone who looks like your boyfriend. Is he an alien? Why would he be an alien? Chin. The chin? The time travel. Oh. That's not right. You're in Victorian London. No, I was in Victorian Yorkshire. How come you didn't tell us? Time travel, that's so cool. Can we have a go? Can you have a what? We want to shut the time machine. No, 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 no. Listen. Oh, cool. we have to tell Dad that our nanny's a time traveler. How did they find these photos? How's that even possible? What? Hokey dokey. <laughs> <laughs> Blind woman beats the shit out of evil parasite. <laughs> Love it. Okay. <laughs> On to the next one. <laughs>